That's right. Buenas noches. Good evening. My name is Enrique Rodriguez, news anchor for Univision Chicago. I am thrilled to be here where I call the economic heart of the Midwest, Little Village, 26th Street. Yes. I have the privilege of sharing the stage today with my colleague, Craig Wall, political reporter for ABC7 Chicago. Uh, we are very thrilled that you were able to make it tonight for the 4th Congressional District Forum, uh, which, by the way, has made a lot of news today, Craig. Yes, it has. Uh, <laughs> and uh, just as further introduction, obviously you could tell by the banners here, this is in conjunction with Univision and ABC7, as well as the, as the League of Women Voters, thank you for that, as well as the Little Village Chamber of Commerce, all helping to bring this to you here in Little Village, as well as out on our websites and our Facebook pages. Absolutely, and obviously you might be wondering, well, we only have Democratic candidates. There's an explanation for that. Originally, the plan was to have two forums, one for the Democrats and one for the Republicans. But as you know, Mark Lorch is the only, the only candidate on the Republican side. Therefore, uh, hopefully when the Democratic race is over, we'll be able to hear from both the Republican uh, contender and the Democratic. I want to welcome all of you present here tonight, but I want to let you know that there's a lot of people hopefully watching through Facebook Live, Univision Chicago, and ABC 7's Facebook Live at the same time. So we just want to let you know a little bit about the format tonight. This is a forum. This is not a debate. So all of our candidates will get the same question, and we will rotate through, giving each of them a chance to answer the question. Uh, please hold your applause. No applause during all of this, if you would. Um, and uh, just out of respect for the candidates, and if there is anyone who gets out of line, we will have to have you escorted out of here. Just kidding. <laughs> As you know, uh, today we found out that two of the candidates decided to step out of the race. So I want to briefly introduce the candidates that we have here today. I know that ladies always go in the middle, Sol, but you are sitting there because of, we're sitting everybody in alphabetical order, okay? So Sol Flores, everybody. We have uh, Commissioner Chuy Garcia and Sergeant uh, Richard Gonzalez. Let's give them all a round of applause. Candidates, in case you didn't already get this, we believe you already have that, but so the folks out here know, they're each gonna have 45 seconds to answer the questions. Enrique and I will rotate questions back and forth and we will alternate candidates to start with each new question. And again, 45 seconds to answer it. Your legal women voters is up here. They'll give you notice when it's time to wrap up. And you know, before we started, somebody was asking me, Enrique, are we gonna have a chance to ask questions? Well, the answer is yes. Those of you present here tonight will be able to send a text. If you look at the screens at some point, you are gonna find the number. It's 42363. All you gotta do is send a text message with your question, and hopefully, Sonia Garcia, our executive producer, hi, Sonia, will be able to choose your question, and then Craig and I will proceed with that. And then people in Facebook, if you're watching either through ABC7 Facebook or Univision Chicago Facebook, please write your questions, and Sonia will be keeping an eye on them so we can uh, have as much participation as possible. And again, because this is not a debate, there's not gonna be rebuttals to each of the questions, but at the end of our forum tonight, candidates will get a chance to either clarify things or, or make a final statement just to set the record straight. Uh, some of you were asking me, how long is this forum gonna be? Well, we hope it's 45 minutes, right? <laughs> but it depends a lot on, on the candidates. Uh, we obviously wanna ask you to stick with your 45 second answers, and if you don't, then Craig and I will have to step in. Now, in addition to that, we have some help to keep track of the time. So I want to acknowledge Amy Little from the League of Women Voters. Amy, if you can please stand up. She's going to help us with the puddle to keep track of the time. We truly appreciate your collaboration with this and other events that we've had in the past. Okay, so as Craig mentioned, you are going to have each 45 seconds for an introduction. So I'm going to start with Sol Flores, you got 45 seconds now. So, mi nombre es Sol Flores y soy nacida aquí en Chicago. My name is Sol Flores. I'm born and raised here in Chicago. My parents and grandparents came to, from Puerto Rico to Chicago in the 50s and 60s, and they struggled to create a life for us. I'm the proud daughter of a single mother uh, who worked very hard to provide for us, sometimes working two and three jobs. Growing up in a family, 
Growing up in a family of activists really instilled in me the values of love and justice. And that's why I do what I do. 15 years ago, I founded and built from the ground up La Casa Norte that's helped thousands of young people and families escape poverty and homelessness. And I'm running for Congress because I see it as a continuation of my life's work of service, that of serving, working for affordable and accessible health care, affordable housing, a living wage job, and immigration reform. Thank, Thank you, you. Ms. Morris. You're back. Commissioner Garcia. There was something wrong with my mic. <laughs> That's why we gave you extra seconds. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, good evening. I want to thank the League of Women Voters, Univision, and Channel 7 for bringing this forum to this part of the 4th Congressional District community where I've lived in since 1969. I actually came to Chicago in 1965 at the age of nine. I dedicated my life from the time that I was in high school to public service. I've worked in the nonprofit sector. I've been an organizer, community builder. I've also had the great honor of being one of the first members of the Chicago City Council, the first state senator from the South Side, the first Mexican-American, and of course to serve on Cook County Board of Commissioners. I believe this is a, a good example of the type of contributions that immigrants are making to our country. Thank you. Thank you, Chuy. Sergeant Gonzalez. Good evening. I wanted to first take the time to thank Univision Chicago, ABC Chicago, the League of Women Voters, and the Little Village Chamber of Commerce for giving us the opportunity to sit here together and letting the uh, residents of the 4th Congressional District decide who will be your next congressman. Uh, I've been a police sergeant for over 25 years here in the, uh, in the 4th Congressional District. I also am the president and CEO of Metropolitan Housing Development Corporation, and we have brought thousands of affordable housing in the United States, including uh, two new projects that we're bringing here in the 4th Congressional Districts, and I thank you very much for being with us. 